All right, well, as you can see, we've got a good fire going. Uh, took about 15 minutes to boil, I think about three quarters of a quart of water on the fire. It's just about ready for dinner time. Now we're gonna be cooking the, uh, the stuff I described in my first video. It's the homemade backpacking food, my own dehydrated meals. It's uh, some instant mashed potatoes mixed with some instant soup. Oh, there we go. We're boiling. We're definitely ready. So now we will just go ahead and pour some in there until we feel happy about it. Start up with a stick. Give it a time. Give it a little bit of time to uh, absorb. Now we don't want to leave it on the fire because it'll mo it'll uh, end up burning the. Uh, food to the inside of the cup will make it hard to clean and it'll also make it taste really bad so in order to keep this easier to take care of and more palatable we're just going to boil the water drop the food in let it sit until we feel happy about it and then we, since we don't have an actual eating utensil I've got a, a stick here that I just shaved the bark off of to get to the cleaner part on the inside that hasn't been exposed to the outside and this is what I'm going to use to stir it, and then I'm probably just going to drink it like a soup. Although this is going to be pretty pretty thick once it stands, I think. Or once I let it stand for a little bit and it finishes absorbing. So. And this already smells delicious. Now keep in mind, this has been in my backpack, or in my survival kit, for about two months now. So we'll see how well it keeps over time. I don't anticipate it making me sick. We'll see if it tastes bad though. It's been, I squeezed all the air out of it, in a, put it in a plastic bag, squeezed all the air out, and then put that plastic bag inside another one. Now since this is, a, this is about a small meal right here, but it's very hearty food, so this should fill you up unless you've been really moving real far today. If you wanted to, if you anticipated wanting more food after this, you'd just keep your fire going. You'd finish eating, rinse the cup out a little bit, and throw your put a little more water in it, start all over from scratch. I'm probably just going to go ahead and let my fire die out, though, because I don't need it to keep warm, and I'm sure this is going to be more than enough food for me for today. Let's see what this tastes like. Oh, that's delicious. Yep. Well, there you go. There's your uh, dinner from the survival kit. And I'm going to give that a little bit of time to cool. And we'll see what's next.